Well, joining me now is activist and former Liberal Democrat councillor Matthew Holbert. Matthew, thank you for joining us. Was Tim Farron your preferred choice? He was indeed. I mean, you know, we were very fortunate in the Lib Dems to have two outstanding candidates, but um, Tim Farron was just that little bit uh, closer to um, my own personal uh, politics, um, although I absolutely congratulate Norman Lamb on a very good campaign and a good result. What do you think he's going to need then? Is he going to have to be radical to succeed? Well, I mean, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Because we're not going to have the same kind of... Um, uh, output on the media that that we had when we were in government our, our voice will be smaller in parliament but i think what tim does is what charles kennedy also did which is um he manages when people hear him speak which they will do a bit more often now is he manages to reach beyond the core vote uh, of the lib dems and to really get people as he would say uh, himself and i've heard him say in their in their gut um really get people um thinking about what matters in life what matters uh, to them and in and in their politics, and I think he will absolutely reach through to communities like uh, the one in Barmore that, that until recently I uh, uh, represented. And um, I think um, with him and with not just RMPs, and as you say, there's not very many of those, but with the thousands of activists across the country and more than 20,000 people have joined the party since May 7th, 8th, meaning we have a membership now of more than 60,000. It'll be with those activists as well as with RMPs that our message will be heard. Uh, our, I certainly believe that anyway. So what do you think the first thing that he should be doing for the party? Well, for the party, I think he's certainly been out and and met hundreds, if not thousands, of members uh, over the past few weeks in the campaign. I think he needs to continue doing what he's done during the campaign, which is to really inspire uh, the membership. He certainly inspires me because he has a belief not just in individual uh, liberty and the belief that you know individuals have um, the capacity to, to go and make the best of their lives, but also in social justice as well, in the belief that there is such a thing as society actually and that you know we need to help the poorest off uh, in our society. And I mean, let's face it, goodness me, we need a liberal voice, don't we? I mean, when we have the government um, taking away tax credits that help those in poverty, when we have a government dumping on young people, when we have a Tory government who want to take us away from the Human Rights Act and, and wrench us out of the European Union. I would suggest, actually, that a Liberal voice has never been more needed than now. And I think uh, Tim Farron and our party as a whole will continue to be that Liberal voice, even if our parliamentary presence has been diminished. Will he rename the party the Liberals? And if he does, oh, what will that mean? I, th- I think that was a load of stuff and nonsense during the uh, during the the, the campaign, uh, whipped up, if I might say so, by by the media. I mean, uh, Tim has assured me that he, he has no um, intention at all of renaming the party. We are the Liberal Democrats. That that is still. Um, uh, despite the recent election result, a brand that people know and that people respect. And I, I see no uh, reason for him to change the, uh, the name of the party. I mean, going forward, you know, obviously the party does need to make some changes. Where would you suggest those changes lay? Well, I think, you know, my advice for what it's worth would be that we need to win back council seats and councils before we start thinking of winning back parliamentary seats. You know, we, we need to ensure that our presence on councils in councils like Kingsley and Bosworth, which until May uh, the, the Lib Dems uh, ran, we need to be winning those councils back at the earliest possible uh, opportunity. And then when we have... Um, along with our 60,000 uh, members, thousands of councillors and councils across the country um, winning positive results for local people in local communities, then what we can do is go out there and, w- and win back those parliamentary uh, seats and indeed to win seats such as Bosworth where um, our wonderful candidate Michael Mullaney got the only second place for a Lib Dem in the whole of the East Midlands. These, these places are waiting to be won back and to have excellent Liberal Democrat councillors and members of parliament representing them. Which, to do all of that, is going to require, certainly within the party, an incredibly strong leader, and I guess this is the challenge ahead. It is indeed the challenge ahead, and and as I say, we have two exceptional uh, candidates. Uh, Tim Farron is a a bit closer to to my politics on the centre-left of the party, but I'm sure what he'll do is not be a factional leader, but be a unifying leader, bringing the whole of the party uh, together and fighting for that liberal voice, which, as I say, has never been more needed uh, than now, and I'm sure that people across Leicestershire and across the country will rally to our cause. Thanks for joining us this evening. That is activist and former Liberal Democrat councillor Matthew Hulbert.